Oh, yeah. All right, everybody here? I know where Pat's at. Um, thank you for everybody coming. Thank you for my mom, Maureen. And I said you wouldn't have this, but I lied. You lied. Um, <laughs> thank you for coming, letting us share our love and passion through, well, it's Jessica's business, but I love it. I'm, I'm super involved. Um, it's a great company. We're, we're really, really passionate about it. She's been working really hard at it. Um, but thank you, Mom, for inviting all your friends or forcing them to come over. Um, <laughs> and feeding you with food. Thank you for the food. Um, I'll let Jess tell you a little bit about the company, and then we'll run through some product. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to answer or ask. Answer. Ask. ask. All right, so. So the company's called Damsel in Defense. Um, the mission is to equip, educate, and empower women to protect themselves and their families against violent crimes. On top of just our products, we have um, we donate to four charities a month, a local, a national, an international, and a house in Cambodia that's targeted towards rescuing sex traffic trafficking victims. You can never get that on the first try. Mm -hmm. Doors. Oh, um, so that's super cool. So on top of just our customers, like all of our work really does go to save lives. Um, John kind of talked me into this because this isn't really wasn't really my thing um, talking to people but John likes the self-protection and I like the mission behind it um, because I was a victim of a violent crime last year so it kind of like touched home to us and we kind of came together um, just like Stephanie said we found a friend who had this on her keychain um, which obviously I'm sure everybody in this room, this is a one inappropriate comment I'll let you make, Stephanie. Um, <laughs> it makes you want to say what's that. Um, so she had it on her keychain, and we kind of were just like, why do you have that? Like, our kids are in the room. Put that stuff away. And then she went on to tell us what it actually was and the mission, and so we signed up with our friend. Yeah, it was, it was really, like, it drew us in. I don't know what, I don't even know what it was. Like, we started looking into it. Originally, we were just going to do the buy-in package and have, stuff. have gifts. That's what we were thinking. We're like, oh, man, we know so many people that could use some pepper spray and this. And the buy-in was amazing because you get a bunch of product and stuff. And then, obviously, it just progressed and progressed and progressed. And, and now we have way more crud than we started with. Yeah. And it, they are based towards women, but they have a lot of men's product as well. And family. They're really about family and putting God first, which is really important. So you want me to start? Yeah, we'll start from one end of the table and go to the other. Or you want to start over here? I don't care. Well, you can talk about your favorite one. All right. This we'll is John's while we're starting on. So... We'll start with the inappropriate one first. Does anybody know what this is? The butt plug. <laughs> there it was. So that's exactly what Disclaimer, this is not a we butt plug. thought. I was like, why are you carrying that? Our kids are around. Put that thing away. But it is. it has many names out there. A lot of the names that are out there are trademarked. So for us, we call this a socket to me. It is just a pressure point device. You're supposed to keep it on your keychain. You don't have to keep it on your keychain unless you're in the state of California. This can be a uh, weapon, a uh, concealed weapon if it's not part of your key. So make sure you know airplane. what state you're going yeah. to with any of our products. But you, you can carry them, all of our products, on the airplane. They have to go in your check bag. In check bag. Because they will take it. Even but from us distributors, they yeah, will take it. And I forgot, I wanted to mention this before we even started. Every product that we carry, lifetime warranty, which is so super awesome. So we've already had an issue with one purse and one stun gun and they ended up sending us two stun guns and a purse back. Oh. So and it was so fast. Like we ordered and it was a couple days. So it was really important that they stand behind their product. Um, but back to the socket to me pressure point device, keep it on keychains. If you're walking to your car at night, um, empty parking lot, in front of your house, you always usually have your keys with you. So this is a good device. To layer your protection in your pocket, you can jab them with it, you can hit them with the keys. All it is is create a little distance between you and a threat. So if somebody comes up on you... You can put them over the doorways in your houses, yeah, a... so that way if somebody comes into your house, you can put them in the shower. I actually recently had a, um incident where my maintenance man, I was in the shower, and my dog, the fat one who was just running around here, she is not a good guard dog. She just <laughs> wants to lay next to you. And so she was laying on the bed. I got out of the shower. My phone was ringing. I walked out of the shower, 
totally didn't expect anything, and my maintenance man was standing in the hallway. <laughs> and so I, well, I, but I didn't hear. I heard him first, so I grabbed my stun gun. I was like, all right, Jessica, this is what you've been training Naked for. Naked and everything. <laughs> started walking down the hallway, and there's the maintenance man. And I'm like, should grab my Kubaton up here, my stock to me, sorry, girl. Uh, up here, but they're good for the showers and stuff like that. Yeah, we'll, good. we'll talk a lot about... You don't want to stun the maintenance man with the stun gun in the shower because <laughs> no. the electricity don't go <laughs> <I'm already laughs> and, and, and throughout <laughs> all of our... As I told John, it's nothing really to brag to his friends about these days, but... <laughs> and so we'll talk a lot about layering protection, so obviously you'll hear us talk about it, like each product. So obviously layering protection is is like staging yourself, staging your house, staging your car. Obviously, if you're a gun owner like some of us in the room, the gun's not always there. It's not always the proper tool for the proper job. So layering protection is super important because each threat is going to be different. Each situation is going to be different. And where you're at in that situation is going to be different. So layering is super important. Having multiple devices to... to get some distance between you and whatever threat is occurring is super important. So you'll hear us talk about layering. This is a really good one I like for layering. It's, uh, it's awesome. I love it. It's one of my favorites. I don't know why. It doesn't really do anything. It's mean green and it, it matches my toenails. So, um, sock it to me. They're a great price, lifetime warranty, and it's a... Uh, and how do you use it? It's a fresh point device. You so, want me to show you? No. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. um, okay. if, if you're carrying your keys and somebody approaches you, you can jab them, and it's non-lethal. That's why it's Or if they're jumping from important. behind, you just stab them, you stab, stab them, and they stab turn them. around. You can use your keys to whack them. It's so just, why call it a pressure point? It's not for pressure point. Because you can dig underneath hey, this hey, 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 you know what? No, 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 it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously we have them in a bunch of different colors. There was a giant ear cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I can can you see why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You jam it in fast enough. Uh, yeah, pressure points. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That hurt. Yeah. Um, next is our pepper spray. So um, we have our hardcore pepper spray and we have our pouch of peppers. There's really no difference in like the way they look other than the way they look. This one comes in five different designs um, and this one comes in a hard pouch. They all have a safety feature so they're not going to go off in your purse where if you push it and then you push down, um, it'll release the pepper spray. 18% OC, which is the highest on the market that you can buy legally. And um, they all have a UV dye. So if you spray somebody, even if they wash their clothes or their faces, then it is um, going to stay on them for seven days. We're actually running a special this month on these ones, the pepper sprays, where if you buy one of these, we're going to donate to the Purple Wings, which is our local sex trafficking victim shelter out here. So that's kind of something John and this I This is our with. personal. This is our special. Yeah. This is what we decided to do this month. And they're only $10. So ten dollars, and if you buy one, then we're going to donate one to the Purple Wings. So that's kind of cool. Too. Purple Wings. These are good. Another good layering technique. Um, like I was telling Carol, that there's just some incidences where you don't want to use pepper spray because if it's windy and you spray pepper spray at somebody, you're going to get knocked out before they do. But pepper spray is good if you have somebody at a distance to keep them at a distance. So there's a lot of good ways to use pepper spray, but it's all part of layering because there's some incidences where pepper spray is not always the answer. And the 18 um, OC is the hottest you can purchase, plus it is what the police department uses. Those, the little ones shoot six feet. So like she said, I got a little bit of it on my finger and I scratched and I was done. Oh done. God. It hurts. It hurts so <laughs> bad. And yeah, we'll get to that one. So uh, the pepper spray is super ridiculously, you are going to just drain from every orifice of your face. Some of our founders actually pepper spray their husbands. We're not allowed to test the products on our husbands, unfortunately, because it voids our insurance. But the founders, they test all of the products on their husbands. So we've seen every, both of their husbands get sprayed. We've seen them get soft with the socket tubing. We've seen them get stunned with every stun gun. They stun themselves. Um, and they oh. cry, grown men. Like, it's absolutely, I think it's funny. I wish I could do it to John, but. <laughs> I'll be stunned before I'm pepper sprayed. I don't like that stuff. Are the pepper spray, how long does it stay good for? So the pepper spray you're supposed to change it every six months to a year is, the, is what we recommend as an expiration date. They have expiration dates on them. Um, and then um, as far as, like, how many uses, 
We always like to say that you have a lifetime warranty on it. And if you are going to use it, you better make sure you empty the whole damn thing out. Because get it all. Just because you're going to get a new one for free anyways. If you use, use it, it all. You send in a police report. If you make a report, send that police report in the damsel and say, listen, I bought this pepper spray. I used it. They'll send you a brand new one. So... So these ones, the little ones sit, shoot 16 feet, so this keeps somebody at 16 feet away from you. And then this one, um, which actually is a wall mount that you wall mount in your house, um, this one shoots 20 feet, so it shoots even farther. And the big ones are two ounce count, that's the, the largest amount of pepper spray you're legally allowed to possess in the state of Nevada. So that is the most pepper spray that you can carry, plus at the 18%, it's ridiculous. Um, next is our dunk in the trunk. This is something I think every person needs in their car. Um, it comes with this cute little pouch. It comes with everything you're going to need. A lot of stuff, um, maybe not so much in Las Vegas, but if you're from New York like me. Um, your ice scraper and your... Um, hey, sometimes I have to go out there with a little card and scrape my windows even here. Oh, we do? Do you not? No. No. I go out there with my <laughs> credit card and spray. Yeah, so the <laughs> ice cream that you can I use, that. the hypothermia blankets you're probably not going to need, the pouches, or the ponchos we have, um, all of these little nifty tools that I can never remember the names of. You'll have to ask John. I probably wouldn't even know how to use them. Why would you think you wouldn't need the blanket if you are going to take the window? A hypothermia blanket? Okay, listen. It gets really cold out here to kind of create ice, but it's not hypothermia. Oh, yeah. Well, I forgot you guys live way up here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're back in Henderson where we live. We are right I live in the southwest and it was it's cold. freezing. Yeah. It does get cold, but not that cold, I don't think. We made snowmen. Your little survival whistle. A little flashlight. Damsel loves their flashlights. So almost everything comes with one. This one's a hand powered one, so you don't have to worry about the batteries dying. And then the jumper cables are super cute and teal and black, too. Um, I didn't unravel them, but... The cool thing about Damsel, though, is they really, like, protection is a huge, a huge part of the business, but it's also protection against things that you don't think of. Who thinks of, you know, having a junk in the trunk bag in your trunk? That has everything you need. So well, it's, has a it, super cute name. Junk trunk. Yeah. So it's just it's yeah. another another way of layering your protection. Protection you don't think about. You're out in the middle of the boondocks, you get a flat tire, what are you gonna do? So So then this also goes along with our junk in the trunk. This is probably like my absolute favorite tool. So if somebody says, What's the favorite thing you sell, Jessica? Um, I would tell you this. Um and I really don't even know why. Okay, because it's not as cute as some of the other stuff. But this is our uh, auto road tool. So this one is a um, flashlight because Danza loves their flashlights. Sorry. <laughs> Can you see that? <laughs> Works good. No, I can't see it. <laughs> so it's also a beacon. So these little things right here, you stick on the top of your car if you ever need assistance, and you turn that on. Turn but then it's also a little alarm. Oh, wow. So that's cool, too. And then um, it's got a strike-free window breaker, so you really just have to, like, put... Oh, that's nice. Gypsy no, here. Gypsy hates our job. How much is that one? This one is $30. Um, so it's got the strike-free window breaker, so you really have to put, like, zero effort into breaking it. A little nudish, noodle... Noodle? Needle. It's been a long time. Mom's yelled at me for, like, the last eight hours. Okay? Well, one hour. One hour. Uh, no. Oh, you didn't know what kind of party this was? No. Oh, but I really want to try this. <laughs> John, let him clean I mean, your ears. Yeah, Sorry. Training. Sorry. Training. I'll edit that out. Well, you're the one that put nudists. Okay. <laughs> Training. Okay. So, strike with the no breaker. Oh, and it's also got a seatbelt nice cutter. And so, um, John really says that we're never going to need this. But we had a friend recently who's actually really super close to us. Mostly just because they forced themselves on us. Um, but anyways, he's with us all the time. But he got into an accident, a super bad accident, and if he would have just listened to us, he would have had one of these into his car, but he did it. And so he had to wait for somebody to come punch his windows out, break his seatbelt, and get him out of the oh, car. That has a seatbelt one, right? Yeah, this has a seatbelt cutter and a stretcher to it. So that'd be something you'd want to keep So this is my favorite. It's also the only tool that Damsel um, sells that John oh, puts in the batteries. Oh, because oh, 
But no, this one has. That's a real one. Okay, anyways, it has batteries. Yeah, that is. Regular batteries. Is. Yeah. What about um, the banana? We'll get to it. So we'll get to the. <laughs> do, you, do you want it? You hungry? Um, so next is our children's books. I'm, I don't know if any of you guys have little kids or grandkids that are little. But we have a safe heart collection. So we actually just signed up today because there is a monthly, a summer subscription. So we call it our summer boredom busters. Um, this is like books about how to have like awkward conversations with your children. So like very recently, our son over there, um, we had to have the talk with him and our son right underneath him. Correct the talk from the school talk that he's been getting from his friends. Right. So, you know, like, we had to explain to him that you don't get girls pregnant by sticking it in their butts and stuff like that. So things would have been so much easier if we would have had these books. So they talk about, like, when your best friend's big brother has a crush on you or your coach. Um, and they give you, like, ways to talk to your children about awkward things, like ways to, things to ask them to know if... They're at a park and some adult calls their name and um, would they go with them? So we asked our kids and our kids said, yeah, they would go with them. Like they knew our names, obviously, or coming up with passwords for your kids. And so it's pretty, it's a pretty good line um, to, we read it to our kids. You know, we just got them this summer board of Buster. So every month for the next three months, they're going to get a box full of our safe hearts. So they can read and they could do like almost like a scavenger hunt kind of thing um, throughout the summer and parenting guys about how to talk to your kids about that kind of stuff. So if you have grandkids or younger kids, that's super awesome. We also have our personal alarms and these are mostly dedicated to the kids and all of my kids have them on their backpacks, but I also carry mine on my keychain too. Um, but this is our personal alarm. I won't blow it in your face. So it has like the little lights because Damsel loves their lights. Um, but then it's also like <laughs> an alarm. So if somebody comes after you, of course, right after they blinded me with the light, <laughs> I'm not deaf. <laughs> so if somebody comes after you, you're not going to be an easy target. And this is something that's super convenient to carry, even if you don't want to carry any of the more dangerous. So um, my kids have them on their backpacks. Another good thing if you have young kids or grandkids even um it took them a while to get over it but once they're over it they know like not to play with it unless it's serious um and nobody's gonna steal my oldest son who's not here because it would take like three people to steal him but if somebody tries to steal the kid next to him he's gonna blow the whistle and that kid's gonna be safe so yeah. I'll go. I'll start. I'll talk about the men's wallet. Um, this is actually my wallet. So again, threats we don't think of. Uh, how many of you guys know about credit card scanning? They can walk past your pocket, scan your cards, walk past your past your purse, and scan it. Well, damsel's got your back. Obviously, this is an RFID proof wallet. So built into the layers of the wallet is uh, a protection that won't allow them to scan your credit cards. Uh, this is the men's wallet, obviously. Um, I love it. Actually, I went to the store the other day and I was looking at some shirts and there was a fox wallet. It looked just like this. I was like, hey, it's just like mine, but mine's got a lifetime warranty, but yours doesn't. And mine's going to protect me. So again, a threat we don't think of, they have them in women's wallets. Yeah, so we didn't get them in um, And they have a hard shell women's wallet as well, which obviously there's come in a bunch of different colors. Us men get this one. The women's wallet is super cute. We're going to order ours today. I've actually been... Is it French? Oh. So, uh, another great protection for layering your, your personal protection. I love it. I carry it every day. Okay, so... Yeah, there's no money in it. Oh, I don't want to no die. <laughs> the whole thing. Ask the kids why they like mommy better. Mommy has all the money. If she leaves us, then we're going to be screwed. <laughs> Mom yelled at me for the last eight hours. Now you're throwing stuff at me. <laughs> Is there anything up there I can use for okay. you? Okay. Now we're going to find out. Oh, she's going to sell some bananas. Okay, so, um, <laughs> Carol actually was the first person. Cheryl. Cheryl. Cheryl, that's what I meant. That's what you were? I know. Okay, so these are our stun guns, which all come with a disabled pin, um, which were brought to my attention today. Uh, so we put these on our wrists when we're using them, when we walk to our cars, when we are out with them. Um, I keep my disabled pin on my keychain, which I have right here too, which is also super nifty, our breakaway keychains. 
Um, but I keep my disabled pin here so that way I can break away my keychain and just stick it in. But um, if somebody takes this from you, they're not going to be able to use it on you. So one click up is our flashlight. Damsel loves their flashlight. And then one click up, you'll see the red button, and then and it sounds really scary. So you see that alone. Gypsy hates the spud guns. Um, but if somebody takes it from you, nothing happens. It takes the battery like completely away from it. So nobody's gonna turn it around on you as long as you. Uh huh. Yeah, you have to train so yourself. Really, use really, it. really. Nice. Always put it on. So we use the banana. So we're we so the banana we use um, kind of to like demonstrate what it would do to somebody's skin because the banana will um, a little bruise. <laughs> and then once it's in their skin, you're not going to hear it anyways. So, and then that's going to leave a really gnarly bruise on this banana in just a few minutes. We actually probably should have started. <laughs> you know what? I'm so good now. today. Why did you say the get a grip that she's showing you too. Um, when you purchase it, it comes bruise straight through. This is the back. This is not even where I bruise the spend. I spend it right on the other side, but that little nice little screw is all the way through. I think the get a grip is one of our more popular ones. It comes with a pouch. Uh, you can put it on your belt. Um, also, really handy with it is it has its own built-in charger. So you just once a month you can charge it. Uh, it has a light on the front. It shows you when it's charged, when it's not charged. We actually send out reminders on the first of every month to have these charger stun guns. You don't even Absolutely. have to remember yourself. Um, and this one, obviously, it's loud, it's mean, and if you're wanting something that looks out of the ordinary for someone to be like, okay, that person's got something in their hand, this is definitely the one, one of the ones you would want. That looks like a flashlight. If you're looking for one that looks like a flashlight, if you're looking for a little more concealment, we have this one. It's called the Light It Up. It has the same exact features with the uh, disabled pin, so obviously super important. Um, this one. I carry in my purse. She has the Bling It Up disabled pin, so for you guys that want to be fancy. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, the light it up is a little bit different. It uses like a cell phone charger. When you purchase it, it comes with a. I don't know if it's in this one. Yeah, it comes with a wall charger, the cable, and a car charger. So it's nice. I mean, yeah. Obviously, if you're going to travel a lot, it's a little more stuff to carry, unlike the get a grip. But if you're looking for concealment, obviously nobody's going to know that this is a stun gun. Can you bring that on the plane? No. <laughs> you know, I don't know because I don't have the cord. It's not going to go off. I don't even know if they would know. I would say no, you can't. But could you get away with it? For legal reasons, we'll just say no. Yeah, can you edit that out? Yes. Okay. Um, obviously, like she said, flashlights. Uh, this one is kind of neat because if they did take it, the flashlight still works. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the only the only flashlight that will work without the disabled pin, but the stun gun isn't supposed to. <laughs> you have to be right up on the person to use it. How did that just happen? I don't know. Obviously, this one's got to go back. <laughs> okay, so um, that was broke. Okay. Oh, no. Um yes, any of the stun guns you literally have to touch. You have to make contact. Um, yeah, this so one, it just sounds super scary. But this one as you as you saw. Okay, so here is here is it on. This is the one I carry. Yeah, this one's broken. Okay, we're gonna have to send that back. I was calling That's super But this one, um and obviously unlike the get a grip, this get a grip, this whole top is metal. So any point that you touch is gonna stop or shock you. This one, they're kind of built in, so you really have to jam this one. But again, all of our hopes are that they hear it and they're gonna run away. But um, this one's super cool, like I said, if you're looking for concealment. This one is the one I carry. It is not for right? Yeah, that one's not for the I have a so this one is our striking distance. Um, <laughs> so this one is not really scary. I was so excited to get this one. So we walk our dogs with this outside. 
because again, it has the flashlight. I won't spray it in your eyes again. Shine. Shine. But John will. Um, and then same thing. There's you just push it up. Big one. That's a big one. Yeah. That's a big one on the sides too. No, yeah, this one is a three prong one. So this one. If you hit them on either side, it strikes from all three sides. How much is that? This one is sixty-five. Sixty-five. These are all the same. Um, yeah, one of them is more expensive, but we don't have that one. It's like uh, it's a little digital camera looking one, um, which is super good for like villagers and stuff. <laughs> this is why I have him. This one's a little different. Again, it comes with its own charger. Obviously much bigger. Because it's dang. Yeah, dangerous. this thing's scary sounding. So this one you just plug in just like the others. It recharges, lifetime warranty. Um, the other cool thing that Damsel's really cool about is if you go to like the gun shows and you see all these stun guns that they advertise 10 billion volts and it's a lie. The, the ones the cops use, I think, is 15,000 volts. So if you go to the gun store or a show or a hobby show and they're claiming 10 million volts, it's a lie. Damsel used to put on all their stun guns, the voltage. They took it off a couple years ago because by a few independent studies, we cannot tell you how many volts each stun gun technically has at the time of use. Because it depends on it how much you charge And the voltage doesn't matter at all anyways. It's a scheme to get you to buy it. What matters is the amperage. And the amperage is what's going to put you to the ground. And these things have plenty of amperage to... Oh, amperage. So that's another really cool thing. They stand behind their product and they're not going to try to sell you something just because it has says it on the box. That because you'll see it doesn't say anything on the box. It doesn't tell you how many. Won't tell you on their website. They are doing an independent study on the voltage because everybody asks, "What's the voltage? What's the voltage?" Especially guys. Guys always come up like, oh, well, I went to the gun store and I saw that one. Why is yours better? But So they are planning on putting it on, but it's nice that they at least are doing the research to give you correct information on their process. So who wants to try? Come on. Um, the, the cool thing with Damsel's purse is obviously lifetime warranty. They're, uh, I don't know. Do any of you guys have a handgun? Nobody, yeah. nobody carry handguns. Yeah, but even if you don't have a handgun, our purses are still nice to go, right? Absolutely. But if you've shopped for concealment purses, they're horrible looking. I don't have ever like seen them. They really look all like them. somebody, somebody's <laughs> child. Mom bedazzled them. them with their bedazzled. They're them. horrible. So at least damsel's purses are a little more concealed, stylish. Um, it's really nice the way that they have designed the zippers, right and left handed. So. You women that carry it, obviously, over your shoulder, you have the zipper right there. So if a threat occurs, you just zip down, and they have a built-in holster. Um, the holster, we've thrown a bunch of different weapons in it. It holds every single one of them. Obviously, if you don't want to carry a weapon as far as a gun, it's great for your stun gun, pepper spray, whatever you want that you don't want just shoved down in your purse. Um, the one thing I always like, really like about Damsel's purses, though, um, for protection, really, is all of their purses have this sewn-on D-ring right to the top. Um, and then they obviously offer the breakaway keychain. So, like, Jess and all of you, seriously, everything falls to the bottom of your purse. He wanted to say, so well, if something, women, but I tried So, to if something was to occur, you're going to dig around in your purse and look for your weapon of choice. At least with the breakaway, it's at the top of your purse. Oh, he wants wallet. So, you get to it a little quicker and it just comes right off. So, if you need your pepper spray or your or whatever you choose to put on. So, that's really a cool feature. You buy more for each one of your grandkids, Hey, John. Yes. They already have them. I mean, 